Assalamualaikum and welcome to the MMA 133 static. So, I will continue the next topic on uh, for our discovery session. So, we're talking today about center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid of a body. So, uh, you will understand uh, the concepts of the center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid. And you should be able to determine the location of these points for a body. So, what is uh, center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid of a body? So, you probably heard that um, uh, when you, let's say for example, that you, uh, when you drive a, a large vehicle, okay, and when you see that vehicle, uh, uh, like for example, a truck or a large lorry, okay, and you try to, uh, when someone is driving and, uh, let's say, driving very fast and uh, suddenly taking a, a sudden turn, and because of their momentum, Okay, because of the speed that they were driving, okay, they are, are more susceptible or easy to, to overturn. Whereas, when you see uh, someone driving uh, a Formula 1 car, which is driving much faster than uh, the, the, the large uh, lorry or truck uh, themselves, but uh, with taking the turn, they, uh, they are not easily uh, overturned. Okay, uh, so you probably uh, heard uh, talks about uh, cars that have uh, higher center of gravity or lower center of gravity and what's the effect so so this is what we're, we're trying to uh, discuss today okay so there will be some uh, uh, really quiz and application that you can do but we're talking about uh, just uh, all this about center of gravity center of mass and central and how do you determine the location okay so um, this is what you can learn, uh, but also exchange uh, this class was only answer. Okay, what is uh, uh, the point of defining the geometric center on object? And then to study problems concerned with the motion of matter and the influence of forces, for example, dynamics, it is necessary to look at a point called what? The center of gravity, center of mass, or central or none of the above. Okay, so the first answer is centroid. Okay, centroid is determining the geometric. Okay, so I'll get more uh, towards the differences between center of gravity and also center of mass. Next, uh, okay, uh, the answer is center of mass. Okay, uh, this is what uh, we concern us uh, when under the influences of uh, forces. Okay, so there are uh, distinct differences okay, between these three terms center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid. Okay, okay, so what are some common applications? So, when we determine uh, designing a structure for supporting water tank, we will need to know the weight of the tank. And water as well as the locations where the resultant process representing these distributed uh, where these uh, uh, distributed loads are. What this means is that uh, when we designing something like this, like this water tank, or even a, a building, okay, a house, or even okay, so we need to understand where uh, the location of the of the weight of the of the structure uh, that needs to support it, okay. Uh, for example, for this water tank, okay, we know that. Um, most of the water okay would concentrate on uh, of course the this bottom area and if it's if, uh, you taking considering uh, safety uh, features of the water probably it's not going to be filled up uh, all up to the brim meaning up to the top of the water tank probably somewhere maybe about uh, three quarters through okay so uh, knowing this kind of uh, application design okay so then we know uh, how to design the structure so that uh, the, the water tank is, is safe and does not uh, collapse okay uh, and the reason why they, they, they put water tanks uh, very high up is because uh, in order to uh, to uh, use gravity okay to uh, help with the with the uh, distributing of water okay and without any use of any uh, to lessen the use of water pumps okay so with gravity they can uh, easy to distribute the uh, water so okay, how can we determine this resultant weights and their lines of action I mean, the whole structure even how do we determine it okay okay one uh, there i was I, I talked to you about just now about uh, large vehicles but this is an example of a, a sport if an suv okay uh, that, that the people, uh, if some of you have ridden, uh, uh, have drove the, uh, this kind of vehicle, 
okay, you know that when you're trying to take a very sharp turn, you could feel something that 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 the vehicle could might trip, okay, might tip over, okay. So, uh, so the the what this is the important factor when determine is uh we uh, to determine stability is to determine the center of mass, and automotive uh, engineers they design, they are concerned with uh this they are determining the stability, okay. Of course, they cannot make cars that are really uh, uh with lower center of mass or center of gravity, okay, in order to uh so that uh, for safety reasons, okay, there there could be some uh foreign objects on the ground that could damage the other parts of the vehicle but they can also make it too high okay because then it will lose its uh, stability okay so so the question should it be high or lower to make it should be more so of course the answer would be lower okay but it would defeat the purpose because if a vehicle is too low then it's it's, it's a different uh, it would be a uh it would not uh, uh, it will not be able to uh, achieve the purpose of having an SUV because an SUV you want to able to move to uh, different terrains okay without uh, without any uh, hindrance okay without any 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 challenges okay so how you determine location of the SUV center of mass okay so these are some of the questions okay, is, this is one example okay when designing the ground support structure for the go post it's critical to find the total weight of the structure. Okay, we want to design this go post. Okay, we want to make it so, but with its design here, okay, the support holding the go post. Okay, so it is it's important that we determine the center of gravity location so that the go post can uh, can sit. Okay, we uh, without it having to have additional uh, structure to support it. Okay, because then. Uh, because if you too have too much, for example, uh, 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 let's say if you design with a more conventional structure, something like this, okay, so that it's more uh, sturdy or stable, then you will create a uh, hindrance for players trying to uh, uh, score uh, or play, or play in the in the uh, in the sport. Okay, so that's why they designed uh, with this in mind, so that it would less hinder or being a, an obstacle for the player, okay, the game. Okay. So the integration must be used to determine the total weight of the goal post due to the curvature of the supporting member, okay. And how do you determine the location of or the overall center of gravity? Okay, this is the important question. So the concept of gravity, the center of gravity is that a body is composed of an infinite number, meaning that a uh, number of particles, meaning that uh, regardless of any kind of shape or size of a of a body, okay. So if the, it is uh, located within a gravitational field, meaning that it is being uh, uh, acted on with gravitational pull, for example, like for example, uh, we or any kind of uh, object uh, here on Earth, okay. So all objects on Earth are being uh, applied with a gravitational forces, okay, with a gravitational pull, okay, to the center of the of uh, of the planet of of Earth, okay gravity acting on it so any kind of body that is located then uh, all of this uh, uh, all of this I, all this uh, body it has uh, has weight so and that body have have infinite number of particles inside it, infinite number of uh, when you say particles meaning that the the, the atoms that that um, that compose the body okay so each of these individual particles have its own uh, weight and we define this weight as differential W, the individual uh, weight as dW. Okay, so the center of gravity is a point. Okay, an arbitrary point means that it is not. It is not uh, uh, something that we determine. Uh, uh, we we just say, okay, it is. This is supposed to be. It, it is. It must be here. No, it, it can be anywhere part of the the body, but uh, it's just shown that the resultant weight. Okay, the center of the resultant weight of the system of the particles of a body. What it means is that, for example, uh, if we have a, a chair, for example, okay, so this chair, okay, with individual particles located, okay, the, the back, uh, see, 
the seat itself, the sofa, everything, all of it, total result, the resultant weight, okay, so uh, the center of all this resultant weight, we call it as the, as the uh, center of gravity, okay. So the division of the resultant force, sum of moments due to individual particles about any point, is the same as the moment due to the resultant weight and located at G. Okay, that is the definition. Okay, that is the definition of the resultant force and everything. The sum of moments due to the individual particles total weight that's the sum of it. Okay, at any point is the same as the moment due to the resultant weight. Okay, is located at G. Okay, this is what we uh, define as. Okay, also. Uh, the sum of moments with the individual particles with about point G is equal to zero, meaning that if we sum, if we collectively consider all these uh, uh, individual particles, okay, and we say at a, uh, uh, if we consider a, at a location, okay, okay, so the sum moment of the individual particles weight, okay, the sum of a, uh, at any given distance of a, of an axis, so we call it as the uh, as the center of gravity, okay, and also the sum moments of all the individual particles about the point where G is equal to zero, okay, the sum moments everything, okay, that is what that is what the what the um uh, in the statics uh, definition is, okay. So the location of the center of gravity, okay, measured from the for example here at the y axis, okay, y axis here, is determined by the equating the moment, okay, moment. Of this dw or the y axis, so if we uh, try to determine okay uh, at any given particle here, okay, the sum moments of the weights of the particle about this same axis, okay, location is uh, uh, at uh, an axis y. So if dw is located at a point uh, in x, y, or z that we haven't uh, known yet, then of course x, okay, if the if the x uh, times the uh, with the moment, with the moment okay, is equal to when we, uh, when we uh, integrate, okay, the point x, okay, x, uh, over the uh, differential weight or the the individual particles. So similarly, for uh, location at y, okay, the, uh, with times the moment y, uh, x is y with, uh, with, uh, the whole weight of the body is equal to the integrating the uh, y location with a different uh, uh, differential weight, the individual weight, and also the z, also with the integration of the at z at dw. What it means is that if we uh, time to find uh, individual uh, particles here, and we try to find the location, okay, uh, uh, with respect to uh, y axis, for example, here, and if we uh, integrate in this, this, all these individual particles at uh, at uh, at y axis, okay, because because it is at y axis, so the distance that we consider is at the x axis here. This is, of course, eh? uh, this, this distance, uh, for example, or let's say here, this distance, okay, so for example. This distance, okay, and also uh, this distance, okay. So when we integrate it, okay, individually, we also uh, we can find the uh, this the is the same as we integrate this in the the whole uh, when we uh, uh, when we um, summarized okay, when we sum all of the moments of the individual uh, particles weight, then we get the the, the is the same as when we uh, get the the moment of uh, of the of the weight of the body okay times the the distance okay we get the this uh, which is what we call as the uh, x so okay, x okay uh, times w okay so that's what it means okay goes to the integration so so by that definition, okay, 
the location of the center of gravity is with respect to the x y z axis becomes k the integration of uh, the uh, of the point k the the point of of uh, an, uh, an individual uh, particles okay, integrated divided uh, times the the differential weight of the particles uh, when we divide by the integration of the uh, particles so we get the, the location of uh, x y and z okay all of this uh, are true for for all uh, objects okay and if we replace the word the weight okay it means meaning that the particles are being acted on with uh, uh, gravitational force okay and we replace it with uh, mass m Okay, so then we can get the formula for mass. We just change, okay, without considering uh, the effect of gravitation pull. So we just get the mass, which is unit in kilogram. And we similarly, if we change uh, any kind of uh, in this uh, letter W or M with, for example, volume, area or length, then we get the value of centroid. Okay, so basically, what center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid. R is actually center of gravity is that the center of gravity when we consider the object with gravitational pull meaning that with with uh, with gravitational and uh, with a uh, uh, acceleration of gravity uh, acting on it meaning that uh, the unit would be in Newton okay but we consider the we don't want to we don't want we want to find the center of mass okay meaning that we want we just want to know the mass of the object without considering the acceleration of gravity so that the unit will be in kilogram and if we just want to you know want to see consider the the center of gravity uh, the forces acting on it or the mass acting on it and we just want to find a uh, center of a shape uh, for example a triangle or a line even so then we just change it to either uh, volume v a area or l okay an area l okay or an object with a 3D shape like a cylinder, a volume, or just a line with length. So then we can, and then we define it as centroid. Okay, those are the uh, main definition. Okay, so the concept of centroid okay, is a point defining the geometric center of an object. Okay, every object has its own uh, a geometric center. Okay, and uh, you please uh, do also don't just uh, simply uh, assume that okay uh, let's say uh, centroid okay let's say uh, centroid is equal to uh, center of mass and equals to center of gravity okay so do not always assume that okay because sometimes a certain, an object can have a different centroid and it's not the same as its own center of mass and it won't be the same as its own uh, center of gravity okay a good uh, example is that if you remember there is a kind of a toy okay that uh, that can be that can raise up that has its uh, 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 has a weight on it okay that is a uh, sometimes children like to play with it okay so like a balloon with an air on it so you remember that it has a lot of uh, weight w Okay, uh, acting on it. So, let's like, say if you're trying to punch it, for example, then the object will sort of fall down and return back up. Okay, so if we consider the center of gravity, probably the center of gravity will be somewhere right here, will be the center. If you consider the center of mass, could be because of the weight, it could be somewhere here, and also the center of gravity could be somewhere in the, at the bottom. Okay, so could, this is an example of an item that, it, that is, can have a different. Uh, center of gravity and uh, center of geometry the centroid a different center of mass and also a different center of gravity okay so for example for a rectangular area okay the center uh, if an area is uh, is uh, equals to it has a rectangle a different uh, length and width so then the center of gravity is at the center of this between point the middle of of the width and length so for a triangle okay if a triangle with an area of a half uh, uh, length and height 
the center of gravity, the center of uh, the centroid is one third of h or the height. And for a center, for example, okay, you have a center, a centroid which is half of the height, okay. And if it's in the radius, will be the uh, uh, middle of the of the radius. And you have a let's say for quarter or the semicircle arcs, okay. For um for the centroid, the shape is actually equals to two r two r over over pi, okay. Uh, two times the radius over two pi. So then concept concept with the center of mass of the center only if the material of the body is homogeneous, okay, as I mentioned just now. Okay, so not necessarily that center is always uh, the same position with the center of mass, center of gravity. Okay, this can only happen if the material body is homogeneous. Okay, it's, it has uh, weight distribution, it has all these mass particles are equally distributed on the whole uh, body. Or is even uh, all acting uh, with that uh, gravitational forces are acting equally on the body homogeneously. So then you can have a, a situation where the center, where the centroid, center of mass and center of gravity are equal. Okay. Then uh, if an object has an axis symmetry, something like this, okay, an axis symmetry, then the center of gravity lies on that axis. Okay, it can lies on that axis. This, in some cases, even centroid may not be located on the object. Okay, this can be uh, uh, can be true okay, in some cases okay so how do you determine the the center of an area so let's say you have an appropriate uh, choose an, uh, an appropriate differential element uh, at the general point x y so if y is expressed in terms of the x for example y is equal to x squared plus y then we use a vertical rectangular element okay the converse is true which is uh, if x is we can we can uh, express in terms of y, then we can use the horizontal rectangular element. Okay. So express the in terms of the differentiating the element and the x or the y. Okay, and then we determine the coordinates of the centroid of the rectangular element in terms of the general point, and we express all the variables and integral limits in the formula using either x or y, either x or y, depending on whether the differential element is in terms of the x or the y, respectively, and we integrate. So the similar steps are used for determining the, we, we use this uh, step similar to when determining center of gravity and the center of mass. Okay, so let's say we do one example here. Okay, we have this area shown, okay, and we need to find the location of the centroid, okay, and the equation of this uh, line here, Okay, it's a, a cubic equation which is y equals to cube x. Okay, with the uh, length of uh, in the axis of x is one meter and y is also one meter in height. Okay, so since y is given in terms of uh, x, okay, we have it here. So we can use a differential uh, dA as the uh, rectangular shape. I mean, this is an example. This is an, uh, a representation. Okay, an area one of the representation of the area of the of the uh, of the area okay so with uh, uh, so uh, with uh, so that that area has a, a length x at dx and also we have a, a height of uh, y okay we have a, a height of y so this this center okay, of the shape okay we assume as having because this shape here because of this shape we we know that at, at y at the height of y the location is equals to y over 2 okay in the middle here this particular shape and also the x the distance for the, the center is equals to x this is the distance x the of course the 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 length here is the x a small uh, representation okay but the whole position in coordinate is x Okay, so next, we know that uh, for this particular small uh, uh, rectangular strip here, okay, so the small area is equal to height y, uh, uh, we, we represent it as y, times dx, okay, uh, just a small representation, equals to uh, y dx. So y is equal to x cubed 3, so we can also uh, uh, write the equation as equals to cube x dx okay x to the power of 3 times dx so since we know that uh, 
the, the location of this uh, uh, distance from the axis x here from the origin okay is x and also the location of y position of y is equal to y uh, divided by 2 or equals to cube uh, x over 2 okay like that so then we can try to integrate okay since using an, a, a, a small strip of area here okay so if we integrate um, x over da okay divided by uh, integrating da itself okay so then uh, when we do integration okay we know that uh, x here okay is equal to x and da is we know that based on the previous uh, equation da is equal to x cubed dx so then we substitute here x cubed dx okay here x cubed dx da divided by da is x cubed dx with the limit at 1 until 0 so then we just integrate okay we just integrate it so this is equal uh, since this will be x to the power of 4 will be when we try to integrate it it will be 1 over 5 times x to the power of 5 between 1 and 0 the limit of the of the axis and also when we do here it will be 1 over 4 times x to the power of 4 the limits of 1 and 0 into the limit so then when we keep when we put in is equal to 1 over 5 divided by 1 over 4 which is equal to 0.8 meters okay the location of the position of x uh, center uh, centroid x is at 8 meter and when we substitute it for uh, y okay since y is equal to the, the integration of y da so then because we know y okay here position y is equal to here x cubed divided by 2 okay so just put here x cubed divided by 2 and uh, da is x cubed dx Okay, and the here also is x to the x. So again, we integrate it. Okay, since this is x uh, 3 over 2, so we can just uh, equals to uh, x to the power of 6 divided by 2 and divided by 2. And then we can just uh, try to uh, integrate it. Okay, where we get uh, 1 over 14 uh, times x to the power of 7. And then the integral limits at 1 to 0. Okay, and x to the x is equal to x to the power of 4 here, same. Quarter uh, 1 over 4 times x to the power 4 uh, between integral limits of 1 to 0. So when we put in the values, it's equal to 1 over 14 divided by 1 over 4, and we get the value of 0.2857 meter. So this is the the, uh, the position. Okay, so x and y, if we try to draw, okay, it is somewhere for x is about 0 0.8, so somewhere here, okay, and y is about 0 0.2, it's around over 43 so it'll probably somewhere here so this is the central of the the area shown okay uh, uh, in estimation the uh, exact point okay okay this is also another example for uh, 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 here okay if it's still played with known weight you yeah, know the weight and has, it doesn't have any uniform thickness and the density is supported as shown okay how is supported so of the three parameters Center of gravity, center of mass, and center of gravity. Which one is needed for determining the support reaction? Are all three parameters located at the same point? Okay, and uh, okay, so now we're moving on. Now, if you have a steel plate with known weight and many thickness and density is supported as shown, so of the three parameters, center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid, which one is needed for determining the support reactions? And are all three parameters located at the same point? So the question is. Uh, to determining the uh, which one if you want to determine the what the what kind of support reaction that that needs to happen on this uh, steel plate okay that doesn't have any uniform thickness and it is the support that is shown so how do we uh, what is the of all three parameters which one is important one important uh, center gravity center mass of centroid okay and on all, all three parameters located at the same point so the answer is okay the answer is we need the center of gravity and this is important okay so that because uh, it needs to support because it is being applied with a with a, it it involves forces okay it involves forces so we need to know the center of gravity 
and are all three parameters located at the same point? No, it's not. Of course, uh, if we try to calculate the 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 central itself, okay, it will be different when we try to consider the center of gravity and also the center of mass. Okay, so when we determine the uh, central of the area above, okay, this area, just the central. Which type of differential element requires the least computation work? Is it, uh, is it somewhere uh, if we're trying to consider uh, horizontal or vertical element? Okay. Polar meaning uh, is it uh, with respect to one of the axes or just any one? Which one would be? Okay, the answer would be the vertical element here. Okay, because we only because it's already being ex expressed as uh, y squared equals to two x. So just we can just uh, substitute okay uh, the combination of y with with the x equation. Okay. Okay, for example, this is stated is about 0.3, mm, uh, 0.3 meters in thick and has a density of 7,850 kilogram per cubic uh, meter. And the, we need to find the location of the center of mass and also compute directions at A and B. So what we need to do is we have to find the uh, center of mass by integrating, and we use two dimensional equations of equivalent to solve for the external reactions. Okay, so let's say we choose a uh, vertical rectangular strip here. Okay. So uh, let's say we think that the uh, center of gravity is at uh, x, y, uh, this position. We don't know yet, but we assume that it's somewhere here okay, for this particular rectangular strip. <coughs> and uh, the, the intersect, okay, the, 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 this strip here, the, this rectangular strip intersects at uh, x1 and y1 below between A and B here on also with um, they also intersect at x2, y2 here or between uh, the support with the up okay, which was equals to y squared over 2x okay so, we, we, uh, so since we know the, so we are trying to apply the differential element here the BA which is uh, with y2 uh, minus y1 okay, the difference between the distance okay, y2 minus y1 times the uh, dx which will be the, the, the smallest value of x that we uh, that we assume the the width of the of the uh, of the rectangular uh, uh, rectangular element here okay let's say this this is equal to dx here so y2 minus y1 since for this line is actually uh, uh, this is y1 y is equal to minus x and this is y2 so uh, y is equal to square root 2x over at this equation and y1 here is actually y equals to minus uh, x so we try to put here uh, square root 2x minus minus x okay then we got y square root uh, 2x plus x times the uh, differential element dx it's differential dx here we get the, the 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 area of the element here okay this area here uh, okay so since x is equals to x and y is equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 location and equals to square root 2x minus x divided by 2 okay, with all those equations that we have so if we try to integrate xda over da with the uh, integration of the area okay so because uh, if you look back here it has uh, the the length here is 2 Okay, and zero here, and then also another two meters up. Okay, so then when we change here between uh, two and zero, okay, both uh, at the axis of x and y, and um, we we differentiate 
okay as the a which is x here is x and the a is actually the differential area 2x plus x times the x uh, with a differential at the x and also for a is uh, integral limit at 2 to 0 okay and is square root the x plus uh, square root 2x plus x dx so what we get is that we get uh we have to we have to different we have to integrate okay x uh, and also square root 2x plus x which is uh, uh square root uh, which is uh, 2x uh, and uh power of uh, 1 over 2 okay and then uh, x okay so if you try to open it you have to have uh, uh another x and also x square okay so then we get this kind of uh when we when we integrate it we get two okay times two uh square root two over five times x two power of five over two plus one over one over three x cube okay so how do you integrate it is because we have something like this okay we have uh if i draw here you, 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 you have something like this uh two x okay if you x is is multiplied with square root x here you have uh, 2x uh, 3 over 2 okay so then you have to uh, uh, integrate it okay mm. okay uh, oh, yeah okay if uh, sorry you have to take out the square root 2 first okay then, uh, so that is 2 square root 2 so you have x 3 over 2 so you only uh, integrate this and not the square root okay, and then plus x square and you integrate this so, so that's how you get uh, 2 uh, times square root 2 over 5 okay and uh, also times uh, 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 5 over 2 x to the power of 5 over 2 okay so you have to understand how to integrate eh? okay this is something you already learned actually in your uh, in your uh, during your high school and also in your matriculation you should have learned about integration okay and also matriculation okay so from that since you already have the integral limit so you can just substitute okay uh, here also the same to uh, square root 2x plus x okay you just integrate it okay so you have something like uh, like this okay so now uh, so now if we in, uh, input the value of uh, since the limit is uh, between uh, 0 to 2 so then we have uh, 5.867 divided by 4.667 equals to 1.257 meters and for y also we do it the same because uh, since y we know that the the formula for the equation for y is uh, opposite is also square root 2x minus x Okay, divided by 2 and yeah, times the, the area uh, which is uh, again uh, 2x plus, the, uh, plus x and dx and also the, the for divided by the integration of the differential element area and the equation is uh, square root 2x plus x dx so here you have to uh, you have to uh, make we have to open the, the this and equations here so the the method of opening equations that we have to let's say you have this is a minus b and so a plus b okay this is divided by two so i think you already know that you have to uh times okay a uh, a squared here and then a uh, times b a b uh, and then uh uh minus uh, b uh, times a and then plus b squared Okay, so when you, you open it, okay, what you get, you get this at uh, x square divided by 2 minus 1 over 6 x cubed. Okay, limit f at 0 to 2. And you, for this uh, dA, when you are trying to integrate, okay, you get the value of, of uh, this same as above here for the, uh, when you did for x. So this here, so when you put the value in value of uh, between limit of 0 and 2, 0 to 2, so then we get 0.67 over 4. 0.667 equals to 0 0.140 meters. So the location of the centroid for the center of that 
of the shape is at x equals 1.26 meter and y is equal to 0.0143 meters. So, uh, so since, since the area we already uh, we can find the area, okay, the area we already know is at, at 4.667 meters squared. How do we know this? Is because we did this, we did the integral, okay, we did the integration of a uh, uh, differential element of the a. So, the, the, the area is this when we integrate, we know that the area is 4.667 here. And with the weight, we know the density. If we want to know the weight, then we have to find the uh, density times the 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 volume. Then we get the the mass, uh, the mass. And when we time with the uh, uh, gravity uh, gravity uh, acceleration, then we will get the weight, which is at 107.8 km. This is the density. This is the area, and the thickness. Okay, so then. Just area times thickness, we will get the, the volume. Okay. So this will be the FPB when we find to we want to find the reactions. Okay. So at this position, at this location of the centroid, which is one point two six meter, one point one four three So we have the 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 weight. One of the weight is position here. Okay. So if you want to find the reactions at A and B. So we just apply the equations of equilibrium, okay? And um, when we we try to eliminate the two unknowns first, okay, we start off at moment at a, okay, so moment at a, so we only have the the we only need to consider the 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 centroid, okay, with the hundred and seven point eight kilonewton here, and also the the moment here that is going to be at uh, at the support direction at a. So then, with these two, we we will find that. The value of the normal force B here, okay, is equal to to forty-seven point nine two or forty-seven point nine kilometer. Okay, and uh, when we uh, want to find for the rest of the equations like uh, reaction forces A uh, x axis and also A and y axis, we just find summation force at x, which is uh, minus A x plus forty-seven point nine two. Uh, sign 45 which is this one sign 45 here okay uh, because uh, uh, the the center of gravity is only acting on the y-axis so then we get the value of a axis for 3.09 newton for y okay we just a y here a y plus 47.92 which is the normal force at mb here cos 45 okay because degree angle 45 here and then to minus the Downwards or going uh, direction of one one seven point eight here the centroid of the uh, of the object of the plate. Okay, then we have a y is equal to seventy three point nine kilometer. Okay, so next to the attention please. Okay, if the, if a vertical, okay, a vertical here, example here, the triangle is chosen as the differential element, then all the variables, okay, including the integral uh, limit, okay, all the uh, integral limit. Should be in the terms of uh, x, y, and z, or any other bar. Okay, where should we do? Okay, and if a vertical rectangle shape is chosen, if we change it to a, a, a rectangular, okay, a vertical rectangle shape, and then what are the values of x and y? Okay, so the answer here is we can have the term of, the term of uh, x, which is at okay, 0 to 2. Okay, this is the, the limit that we're going to. If we change it here, something like this. Then the limit will be between minus two and two, okay. And if we uh, vertical, uh, I think I see. So then, what are the values of uh, uh, x and y? Okay, so the value is at x and zero. So what are the values of x and y here? Okay. Right. Okay, so this next uh, topic is talking about composite bodies. In that, uh, we uh, in that that previous in the previous slide, okay, topic we talked about um, uh, one type of shape, okay, one type of uh, of a body. So how do we determine, for example, if if a, a body has a different shape, 
like this for example a water tower here it has a triangle it has a cylinder here it has another uh, a semicircle dome here shape okay and how do we determine the, the centroid and center gravity and center of mass and all this so this is how this is what the topic is about uh, we call it as composite bodies meaning with different uh, shape uh, so you can imagine like this is what uh, nitro application how they determine for example the center of gravity of of a, of a vehicle of a car because it has different shapes different uh, with different uh, uh, forces acting on it the tires the, the chassis okay and also the, the suspension also the, the the vehicle train and everything so you have to uh, uh, have to determine uh, individually of all the and then also when then we we try to find the the, the summation of all the the individual of all the, the total uh, bodies uh, the total uh, body with different parts components and everything so uh, we were talking about what thing is here here is the called as the method of the composite bodies okay okay so next is the Body made of what, and also the uh, the composite method for determining the location of the center gravity of composite body requires. Okay, for here we call it as a collection of simple shape parts or holes. Okay, that is the, the, the definition in here, and in the in our uh for the subject. Okay, what we mean as a composite body, not as a those uh, that you find in the and um, in for example in a racket tennis or a bicycle body or so. So we just uh, we call it simply as a selection of simple shape parts and holes. Then also to when we want to determine the location of the center of gravity of a composite body requires just simple arithmetic. Okay, just simple addition, okay, or the division, uh even uh, multiplication also uh uh uh, uh minus okay? okay so for example here we have an i beam here okay at the top and also a t beam at the bottom here and this is commonly used for building uh, various type of structure that you all, you always see the structures of building so when we do uh, stress or deflection analysis for beam so the, the location of the central is very important and how we can easily determine the location of the central for these different uh, beam shapes okay so this is some another example if it's compressed it is assembled with many individual components okay you have uh here for example you have the the first one here we call it the the, the panel the instrument panel and two we have the filter system okay and three we have the piping assembly here and then we have the liquid storage for and also the structural framework all of this okay all of it has its uh, uh position okay its own position uh, with regards to the the, uh, the whole compressor itself and also it has its own uh, mass okay and weight okay so if, if you want to design a support okay, ground support, uh, support structure that is shaped like this uh, at this uh, blocks at a and b here so today we need to determine the location of the compressor's center of gravity okay, the whole the, the whole summation Okay. So if we know the weight and the center of gravity of these individual components, we just need to find a simple way to determine the location of the assembled unit. Okay. So again, coming back to the early discussion when, when I talked about the, the previous slide about center of gravity, center of mass, okay. If a body, okay, we just know that the 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 whole summation of the particles, okay. But for and then for this, then we if we uh, find it uh, of these individual particles then we know the the resultant uh, weight is given as the summation of w okay but if we uh, change this to represent this is would be body one this would be body two for example this would be body three a body uh, a body a shape uh, of a, uh, a body with mass so then same the same principle still applies in mean, the whole resultant uh, weight is given as summation of w of all this so we summon the moments for example at y axis okay we summon the moment at y axis so 
So the distance here is uh, at this y axis, so distance uh, x here to y, uh, w2 here to y, and also w1 here to y. So then the position of resultant, position of moment, okay, of uh, a resultant force w, uh, wr here, okay, is equal to the summation of x1, the moment x1, w1 here, x2 and w2 here, and also it's until infinite number of particles of body that you want, okay, number of n uh, over n uh, over uh, weight n, okay. So, it, uh, where x1 here represents the x1 for w1, x2 for w2 n, uh, etc., and so on and so forth. So, simply if we can sum up the moments about x and z axis, so we get the value for. For, for x axis will be y, okay, and also for z axis will be let's say z here, okay. Again, and and this will apply the same. If we replace w weight here with m for mass, okay, we get the the value for mass and so for shape area. Yes, you can find the centroid. So many industrial objects can be considered as a composite body made of a series of connected simple shape parts or holes like a rectangle here, okay, like a triangle here in C, okay, or B and E here, e here uh, or triangle, uh, uh, sorry, a uh, rectangle would be uh, uh, same as a, a B would be a square but almost like a triangle, okay, and also let's say here A is a rectangle, a triangle at C, uh, B and E here, and semicircle would be E, okay. So a series of connect connected simple shape parts. So if we know the location of the centroid of the simple individual simple shape parts, we can easily determine the location of the centroid or center gravity for more complex uh, composite body. So uh, so this we can be done here. Consider that each part as a particle. Okay, we determine that each part here, part A, B, hole here, B square. C as a particle, so considering this as a particle here with the uh, exclamation uh, with, the, with the quotation marks here, so then we can uh, we follow the procedure that we that we described in the previous section, that the, the previous slide that I talked about. So then we can and just with this method we can find the location of center or center of gravity for, for the complex part of structure. So first we need to divide. Uh, the steps you need to analyze, you need to divide the body into pieces that, are, that have known shapes. Uh, triangle, uh, square, rectangle, or uh, semicircle, or circle itself. Okay, so holes are considered as, uh, but do remember that holes we consider as a pieces with negative weight or size, so that we have to just remove in the total. Okay, and we make the table with the first column for uh, each segment number, and we the second column will be for uh, the weight, mass, or size, depending on what we want to decide. We want to find the central will be size, center of mass will be mass, and for center of gravity will be the weight. Okay, and we fix the coordinate axis, and then we determine the coordinates of the center of gravity or center in each piece, and then we fill in the table. Okay, so then we sum the columns to get x, y, and z. So when we use formulas like the x equals to summation of x, i, uh, we, it doesn't matter how many, sum, just the total number of x and a and the square uh, and the area, we got the summation of the area or x equals to, or if you want to find for center of uh, gravity, we use the, the weight, okay? So here's an example, we have this shape, okay? So if you see here, it's already been divided by into four parts. A would be the rectangle, B would be the triangle, and C would be the uh, quarter circle uh, arc, and then D would be the semicircle hole. Okay, so we have the dimensions already given, the x and y axis. So here we, when you see here, we have the body can be divided into the following pieces: a rectangle plus a triangle plus a quarter circle here. And minus we remove the semicircular area at D here. Not the negative sign on the whole. Okay, here, this is the negative sign. Okay. So how do we start? Okay, we make until the table using parts A, B, C, and D, and note the location of the axis in the system. So for example, here we have the rectangle first. Okay, rectangle, we know that the length is six meter and the height is only given with this uh, 
uh, at this value here would be 3 meters we already know the area is 18 meters okay so because the origin is here this is would be the origin so everything on the right will be positive and everything on the left will be negative and also for the y-axis everything is going up here will be positive everything going down okay up is positive So uh, for the x uh, for the for this shape rectangle field, okay. So uh, we know that for the uh, centroid at x axis, uh, the the length here will be just the x divided by two, which is which is uh, six divided by two will be three. So this is the position three, and y also uh, just y over two will be one point five, okay, one point five. So just x times a, which is the uh, position times the the area here would be three times eighteen will be fifty four kilometer. Then also the y times the area, okay, one point five times eighteen will be twenty seven. Okay, next for the triangle here, this is triangle is already way here, okay. So the area is just uh, one over two times uh, a and the height. So uh, uh, just half. So three times three is uh, uh, nine. So divided by two is four point five square meter. So and for the position x, because this uh, three is just uh, know that from the formula, okay, is the 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 central is uh, one over three for the triangle. Okay, so it's one over three divided by the here is. 3 here is 1, so 1 here plus the coordinate position because this is only 6 meter here, 6 plus 1 here, then we get the position of x is at 7. Okay, we still have to uh, spend 7. And for y, because y is 1, okay, so uh, y is 3, 1 over 3 is 1, so position of y is at 1, so somewhere here. So this is the position, coordinate position of the uh, is actually x is equal to seven because of the coordinate position and y is equal to one. So just times x a, so just seven times four point five would be thirty one point five, and y would be uh, one times four point five we get uh, four point five here. It's valid. Okay. Next for the quarter circle, quarter circle. <laughs> okay, it's pi r squared over 4, so since r is equal to 3, the radius here, so it's 9 pi over 4. And for the x coordinate, the formula for uh, the central for, uh, for a quarter circle is just for r over 3 pi okay so r since r is already uh, 3 here so and because the position is uh, at x is negative okay from the coordinate uh, axis of uh, x here so it's net minus 4 over 3 4 times 3 over 3 pi and for y is again is 4 r divided by 3 pi 4 r over 3 pi so the radius is 3 so it's 4 times 3 over 3 pi so the for the x times a x times a here uh, 9 pi over 4 times uh, minus 12 over 3 pi so you get the value of 9 minus 9 then also for uh, y a again uh, 9 pi over, over 4 uh, times 12 over 3 pi you get the value of 9 uh, next for the semicircle okay so uh, because it's a whole okay so we just consider negative Okay, we just want to uh, remove, uh, remove it. So then, <coughs> because uh, the area for the circle is uh, pi over two, uh, pi pi r squared over over two. So since r is the, the value is one meter, so we just uh, put in the value as uh, pi minus pi over two. Okay, indicating it's a hole. We want to uh, remove it. So since the 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 since the the center of its 
a semicircle to coincide with the origin of the axis. So we know that it's zero here. We just put in zero. And for y, it's just again is uh, four r over three pi. So y is one equals one. So then we get four times one over three pi. So then when we uh, multiply uh, x with a here, so zero times negative pi over two, we get zero. And for y times a, which is four over three pi times minus uh, pi over two, then we get minus two over three. So we just summarize <coughs> the whole area. 18 plus 4.5 plus 9 pi over 4 and then we minus pi over 2 we get total is 28 square meter and we just find for uh, the summation of x a here we just plus 54 plus 0 0.5 uh, minus 9 uh, minus 0 and we get 76.5 and for y a just 27 plus 4.5 plus 9 minus 2.2 over 3 and we get 39.83 so from there, afterwards now we use the, all the tables uh, and the data, so we get the value for the area, this, this total area here, this total area here is equal to 28 square meter, and the x times the area is the, uh, the center of, uh, of the ship, times uh, is, uh, the summation is 76.5, and summation of y uh, times a is 39.83. So then the central is will be somewhere that we determine as a here. So then we just divide the summation of x a here over the summation of area. We get 76.5 cubic meter divided by 28 square meter. Then we get 2.70 meters at x and y. We get the summation y a divided by summation of a equals to 39.83 cubic meter divided by 28 square, square meter. We get 1.42 meters. So the position of the centroid is uh, 2.73 somewhere here meter x at x so this this just says is 2.73 and y at the 1.42 meters that's all okay so uh, based on the typical sequential information what are the minimum number of pieces you will have to consider for determining the centroid of the area so okay you can have at least one uh, you have to you try to divide here, okay. So at least three, okay, three uh, shapes, okay. And also, if the storage box is tilted up to clean the rug uh, underneath the box, okay, it is tilted up by pulling the handle. Uh, see here with the edge A remaining on the ground. What is the maximum angle of tilt? Okay, measured between bottom A and B on the ground, possible before the box. Uh, tips over. Okay, so over here the answer is that the box can be tip uh, can tip over. Okay. Okay. Next, um, if you have. Uh, these two blocks, okay, the different materials, so some of the weight, and we have the density of each material. Uh, object E here, density is 30 kilometer over cubic meter, and density of uh, body block B here is 80 kilometer over cubic meter. What would be the center of gravity? Okay, so what we need to do is we can uh, read this from the blocks A and B can, uh, can be considered as uh, two pieces of segments. So we first we want to find the weight of the boxes okay so weight is w uh, times uh, is equals to the density times volume so we have the density in 30 km over kilometer so we just times the volume of uh, e here which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 and then height is 0.6 here based on this value okay and then uh, uh, divided by uh, 2 or times 0.5 times the density, then we get the 1.08 km, which is the weight of E. So if our block B is 80 times the density times 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 here, length, height 0.6, and the width 0 0.2, then we get 5.76 km. So if we summarize, okay, for this segment, for A and B here, so we know the weight is 1.08 km for A and 5.76 km for B. And for the position of x, uh, uh, 
uh, if it's at the center of uh, the centroid okay, at my shape A here okay we see here at uh, at x here okay x is uh, x is 0.2 okay here it has a, an offset of 0 0.2 because of the block B here and because it's 0 0.6 because of its rectangular shape it's a one third of uh, 0.6 so one third is point uh, we get one of 0 0.6 with 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 we get 0 0.4 will be the position so this is the total 0 0.4 yeah. okay for y Okay, y here, the height is 0 0.6, so it's just uh, one third of the height. It is uh, 0 0.6 times, uh, so it's, uh, it's a straight line, so uh, one uh, half of uh, 0 0.6 so is uh, 0 0.3. Okay, and uh, for z, so, sorry, sorry, my mistake, is because this is uh, uh, so y axis is here. Okay, y axis is zero point two zero point three zero point six for the value is zero point two. So we just value the coordinate of x times the weight okay in kilometer meter okay we get 0.4 times 1.08 for one times is it 1.08 here so we get the value of 0 0.43 0 0.108 for y and 0.216 for z respectively okay which is just is the post we point of instance so this is a mistake okay so it should be it should be kilometer meter and for b okay same here for uh, block b here Okay, at x is because x is 0 0.2 uh, at x, so just half of it, a rectangle, okay, is 0 0.1. And for y, because the length here is 0 0.1, and because it's near to the origin, so it's just 0 0.3y. And then z is, and then the height is 0 0.3, uh, divided by uh, 0 0.6, divided by 2 is 0 0.3. We just uh, multiply 0 0.1 times 5.76, uh, 0 0.3 plus 5.76, and then 0 0.3 again multiplied by. Uh, 5.76 to get the value of uh, each individual for x, y, and z. So we summarize the total uh, weight for both blocks 1.08 plus 5.76, we get the value of uh, 6.84 uh, kN. And then we just summarize x and w here, y, w here, and also z, w. We get the value of respectively uh, 1.08 kN, 1.836 kN, and 1.944 kN. So from there, we summarize that we get the, the summation of the weight is 6.84 kN. The summation of x, y, and z uh, uh, multiplied with the, with the weight is the 1.08, 1.836, and 1.944. So, so then we, we substitute it with the center of gravity equations. We get uh, just uh, 1.08 divided by 6.84, 1.836 divided by 6.84, and also continue for z. 1.944 divided by 6.84, we get the value of uh, at x, the, cent the, the center of gravity is 0.147 meter, at y is 0.268 meter, and 0.284 meter for z. So it's somewhere around 1.147 uh, meter, I think somewhere around almost half, uh, sorry, almost at 2, okay, here, at x, at y, uh, value at... Um, 0.268, 0 0.268, sorry, probably somewhere here, okay, and z at 0 0.284, 0 0.284 maybe somewhere here, so maybe somewhere is the, probably the location of the, of the center of gravity. Okay, so next, okay, if a rectangular area has semicircular and triangular cuts as shown for determining the central, what is the minimum, okay, what is the minimum number of pieces that you can use, okay, you have this kind of shape. Okay, so if you want to determine the center, of what is the minimum pieces? Okay, uh, actually you can, uh, you can, if you want to, you can just summarize into if you have consider if the original shape is a rectangle, one would be the rectangle, and then two holes consist of a 
triangle and also a semicircle. So at least you need three union pieces. That's the union we can get to to uh, to solve this kind of uh, problem. Okay, and then for determine the center of the area here, the two square segments, we can say that A, B, C, D, X square, D, F, G. What are the corners and what are the center of square D, E, F, G here? Look, everything is, is just 2 meter by 2 meter uh, uh, square. So, since uh, if the coordinate system, uh, if this is uh, D, E, F, G, so this, for this particular shape, its centroid is located at half. Of this, so it's just half here, 0.5, and also here, 0.5 at x is y and x. Okay, this is y and also x. So, considering the distance one meter here and also here, so this distance will be x. This is 0 0.5, this is one meter, and again, this is also one meter here, and distance here is 0 0.5, and the answer would be the 1.5 uh, x and 1.5 meter y. Okay. So thank you very much. That is the lecture for today. I hope you uh, can uh, understand a bit. So we can uh, later on in our tutorials we can discuss a little bit more. Furthermore, the topic of uh, center, center of gravity, center of mass, and uh, centroid. So, so thank you for your attention. So moving on. Now, if you have a steel plate with known weight and manifold thickness and density is supported as shown, so of the three parameters, center gravity, center mass, and centroid, which one is needed for determining the support reactions? And are all three parameters at the same point? So the question is, uh, to determining the uh, which one, if you want to determine the what the what kind of support reaction that that needs to happen on this uh, steel plate, okay, that doesn't have any manifold thickness. And it is this as what I showed. So how do we uh, what is the of all three places, which one is important one important? Uh, center gravity, center mass of centroid. Okay, and all, and all three parameters located at the same point. So the answer is okay, the answer is we need the uh, center of gravity. And this is important. Okay, so that because uh, it needs to support because it is being applied with a with a, it it involves forces okay it involves forces so we need to know the center of gravity and are all three parameters at the same point no because of course uh, if we try to calculate the 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 center itself okay it will be different when we try to consider the center of gravity and also the center of mass okay so when we determine the uh, center of the area above Okay, this area, this is central. Which type of differential element requires the least computation work? Is it, uh, is it somewhere, uh, if we're trying to consider uh, horizontal or vertical element? Okay. Polar meaning, uh, is it uh, with respect to one of the axes or just any one? Which one would be? Okay, the answer would be the vertical element here. Okay, because we only because it's already being ex expressed as uh, y squared equals to two x. So just we can just uh, substitute. Okay, uh, the combination of y with with the x equation. Okay. Okay, for example, this is stated is about. 0.3 meter, uh, meters in thick and has a density of 7850 kilogram per cubic uh, meter. And the, we need to find the location of the center of mass and also compute the reactions at A and B. So, what we need to do is we have to find the uh, center of mass by integrating and we use two dimensional equations of the equivalent to solve for the external reactions. Okay, so let's say 
you choose a vertical rectangle strip here okay so uh, let's say we think that the uh, center of gravity is at uh, x y uh, this position we don't know yet but we assume that it's somewhere here okay for this particular rectangle strip and uh, the the intersect okay the 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 this strip here the, this rectangle strip intersects at uh, x1 and y1 below between a and b here on also with um, they also intersect at x2 y2 here or between uh, the support with the up okay, which was to y squared over to x okay we, we, uh, so since we know the, so we we'll try to apply the differential element here to the uh, ba which is uh, with y2 uh, minus y1 okay the difference between this distance the y2 minus y1 times the uh, dx which will be the, the the smallest value of x that we uh, that we assume the the width of the of the uh, of the rectangular uh, uh, rectangular element here okay let's say this this is we call as dx here so y2 minus y1 since for this line is actually uh, uh, this is y1, y is equal to minus x, and this is y2. So uh, y is equal to square root 2x over at this equation. And y1 here is actually y equals to minus uh, x. So we try to put here uh, square root 2x minus minus x. Okay, then we got y square root. Uh, 2x plus x times the uh, differential element dx it's differential dx here we get the the, the the area of the element here okay this area here uh, okay so since x is equal to x and y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 equation and equals to uh, square root 2x uh, minus x divided by 2 okay, with all those equations that we have so if we try to integrate x dA over dA with the uh, integration of the area okay so because uh, if you look back here it has uh, the the length here is 2 okay and 0 here and then also the 2 meters up okay so then when we change here between uh, 2 and 0 both uh, at the axis of both x and y and um, we we differentiate okay x dA which is x here is x and dA is actually the differential area 2x plus x times x uh, with a differential at dx and also for a is uh, integral limit at 2 to 0 okay and is square root dx plus uh, square root 2x plus x dx so what we get is that we get uh we have to we have to different we have to integrate okay x uh, and also square root 2x plus x which is uh, uh square root uh, which is uh, 2x uh, and uh power of uh, 1 over 2 okay and then uh, x okay so if you try to open it you have to have uh, 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 another x and also x square. Okay, so then we get this kind of. Uh, when we when we integrate it, we get two. Okay, times two uh, square root two over five times x two power of five over two plus one over one over three x cube. Okay, so how do you integrate it? It's because we have something like this. Okay, we have. Uh, if I draw here, you 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 have something like this. Uh, two x. Okay, if you x is is multiply with square root x here, you have two uh, x uh, three over two. Okay, so then you have to uh, uh, integrate it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. 
if you put, uh, sorry, you have to take out the square root 2 first. Okay, so, uh, put square root 2, square root 2. So you have x, 3 over 2. So you only uh, integrate this, not the square root. Okay, and then plus x square, and you integrate this. So okay, that's how you get uh, 2 uh, times square root 2 over 5. Okay. And uh, also times uh, 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 5 over 2, x to the power of 5 over 2. Okay, so you have to understand how to integrate. Eh? Okay, this is something you already learned actually in your, uh, in your, uh, during your high school and also in your matriculation, you should have learned about integration. Okay, and also matriculation. Okay, so from that, since you already have the integration, so you can just substitute. Okay, uh, here also. The same to uh, square root two x plus x. Okay, you just integrate it. Okay, so you have something like uh, like this. Okay. So now, uh, so now if we in, uh, input the value of uh, since the limit is uh, between uh, zero to two, so then we have uh, five point eight six seven divided by four point six six seven equals to one point two five seven meters. And for y also we do it the same because uh, since y we know that the the formula for the equation for y is uh, opposite is also square root 2x minus x a divided by 2 and times the, the area uh, which is uh, again uh, 2x plus, d, uh, plus x and dx and also the, the for divided by the integration of the differential element area and the equation is uh, square root 2x plus x dx so here you have to uh, you have to uh, make, we have to open the, uh, this uh, equations here. So the, the method of opening equations that we have to, let's say you have this is A minus B, and so A plus B, okay, this is divided by 2. So I think you already know that you have to uh, times okay, A, uh, A squared here, and then A uh, times B, AB, uh, and then uh, uh, minus uh, b uh, times a and then plus b squared okay so when you, you open it okay what you get you get this at uh, x square divided by 2 minus 1 over 6 x cubed okay limit f at 0 to 2 and you for this uh, da when you are trying to integrate okay you get the value of of uh, this same as above here for the, uh, when you do for x so this here, so we put the value in value of uh, between limit of 0 and 2, 0 to 2, so then we get 0.667 over 4.667 equals to 0.14 meters. So the location of the centroid for the center, uh, of that of the shape is at x equals 1.26 meter and y is equal to 0.0140 meters. So, uh, so since, since the area we already uh, we can find the area okay, the area we already know is at, at 4.667 meters squared how do we know this is because we did this we did the integral okay we did the integration of a uh, uh, differential element of the a so the, the the area is this when we integrate we know that the area is 4.667 here and with the weight we know the density if we want to know the weight then we have to find the uh, density times the 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 volume that we get the the mass uh, the mass and when we time with the uh, uh, gravity uh, gravity uh, acceleration then we will get the weight which is at 107.8 km this is the density this is the area and the thickness okay so then since area times thickness we will get the the volume okay so this will be the FPB when we find to we want to find the reactions, okay. So at this position, at this location of the centroid, which is 1.26 meter, 1.143 meters. So we have the 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 weight. One of the weight is position here, okay. So if you want to find the reactions at A and B, so we just apply the equations of equilibrium, okay. And um, when we we try to eliminate the two unknowns first. Okay, we start off at moment at A. Okay, so moment at A, so we only have the, the we only need to consider the, 
the the centroid okay with the 107.8 kilonewton here and also the the moment here that is going to exit at uh, at the support direction at A. So then with these two, we, we will find that the value of the normal force B here, K is equal to 47.92 or 47.9 kilometer. Okay. And uh, when we uh, want to find for the rest of the equations like uh, reaction forces 8A uh, x axis and also A and Y axis, we just find summation force at X which is uh, many as AX plus 47.92 uh, sine 45, which is this one, sine 45 here, okay, uh, because uh, uh, the, the center of gravity is only acting on the y-axis, so then we get the value of AX is 43.09 Newton, for Y, okay, we just AY here, AY plus 47.92, which is the normal force at MB here, cos 45, Okay, we have degree angle 45 here, and then to minus the downwards or going, uh, direction of 107.8 here on the center of the, of the object, of the plate. Okay, then we have AY is equal to 73.9 kilometer. Okay, so let's do the attention please. Okay, if, the, if a vertical, okay, a vertical here, example here, the sign is chosen as the differential element, then all the variables, Okay, including the integral uh, limit, okay, all the uh, in integral limit should be in the terms of uh, x, y, and z, or any other bar. Okay, where should we do? Okay, and if a vertical rectangle shape is chosen, if we change it to a, a, a rectangular, okay, a vertical rectangle shape, and then what are the values of x and y? Okay, so the answer here is we can have the term of, the term of uh, x, which is at okay, 0 to 2. Okay, this is the, the limit that we're going to. If we change it here, something like this, then the limit will be between minus 2 and 2. Okay. And if we uh, vertical, uh, I think I should show what are the values of uh, uh, x and y. Okay, so the value is at x and 0. What are the values of x and y here? Okay. Gravity and centroid. Okay, so this next uh, topic is talking about composite bodies. In that, uh, we uh, in that that previous in the previous slide, okay, topic we talked about um, uh, one type of shape. Okay, one type of uh, of a body. So how do we determine? For example, if if a, a body has a different shape. Like this for example a water tower here it has a triangle it has a cylinder here it has another uh, a semicircle dome here shape okay and how do we determine the, the centroid and center gravity and center of mass and all this so this is how this is what the topic is about uh, we call it as composite bodies meaning with different uh, shape uh, so you can imagine like this is what uh, in actual application how they determine for example the center of gravity of of a, of a vehicle of a car because it has different shapes different uh, with different uh, 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 forces acting on it the tires the, the chassis okay and also the, the suspension also the, the the vehicle train and everything so you have to uh, uh, have to determine uh, individually of all the and then also when then we we try to find the the, the summation of all the the individual of all the total uh, bodies uh, that's total uh, body with different parts components and everything so uh, we we're talking about what thing is here here is the what is the method of the composite bodies okay okay so next is the body made of what and also the, okay, the composite method for determining location of the center gravity of a composite body requires okay for here we call it as a collection of simple shape parts or holes okay 
that is the, the, the definition in here and in the in our uh, for the subject okay what we mean as a composite body not as a those uh, that you find in the and uh, in for example in a record tennis or a bicycle body so so we just uh, we call this as a selection of simple shape parts and holes and also to when we want to determine the location of the center of gravity of a composite body requires just simple arithmetic okay just simple addition okay or the division uh, even uh, multiplication also uh, 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 minus okay okay so for example here we have an i bin here okay at the top and also a t bin at the bottom here and this is commonly used for building uh, various type of structure that you you always see the constructions of building so when we do uh, stress or deflection analysis for bin so the, the location of the central is very important and how we can easily determine the location of the central for these different uh, beam shapes okay so this is some an example okay this compressor is assembled with many individual components okay you have uh here for example you have the, the first one here we call it the, the, the panel the instrument panel and two we have the filter system okay and three we have the piping assembly here and then we have the liquid storage for and also the structural framework all of this okay all of it has its uh, uh position okay its own position uh, with regards to the the uh, the whole compressor itself and also it has its own uh mass okay and weight okay so if, if you want to design a support okay, ground support, uh, support structure that is shaped like this uh, at this uh blocks at a and b here so today we need to determine the location of the compressor's center of gravity okay, the whole the, the whole summation okay so if we know the weight and the center of gravity of these individual components we just need to find a simple way to determine the location of the assembled unit okay so again coming back to the early discussion when, when i talked about the, the previous slide about center of gravity center of mass okay if a body okay we just know that the 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 whole summation of the particles okay but for and then for this then we if we uh, find it uh, of this individual particles then we know the the, the resultant uh, weight is given as the summation of w okay but if we uh, change this to represent this is would be body one this would be body two for example this would be body three a body a a body a shape a, 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 a body with mass so then same the same principle still applies in the whole resultant uh, weight is given a summation of w of all this so we summon the moments for example at y axis okay we summon the moment at y axis so the distance here is uh, at this y axis so this is uh, x here to y uh, w2 here to y and also w one here to y so then the position of resultant position of moment okay of uh, a resultant force w uh, wr here okay is equals to the summation of x1 the moment x1 w1 here x2 and w2 here and also it's until infinite number of particles of body that we want okay number of n uh, over and uh, over uh, weight n okay so the uh, where x1 here represents the x1 for w1 x2 for w2 n uh, etc and so on so forth so similarly if we can sum the moments about x and z axis so we get the value for uh, for, for x axis will be y okay and also for z axis will be the z z here okay again and and this will apply apply the same if we replace w weight here with m for mass okay we get the the value for mass and so for shape area yes you can find the centroid so many industrial objects can be considered as a composite body made of a series of connected simple shape parts or holes like a rectangle here okay like a triangle here in c okay or b and e here, e here uh, or triangle uh, uh, sorry a uh, rectangle would be uh, uh, same as a uh, uh, b will be a square but almost like a triangle okay and also let's say here a is a rectangle a 
a triangle at C, uh, B and E here, and semicircle would be at E. Okay, so a series of connect connected simple shape parts. So if we know the location of the centroid of the simple individual simple shape parts, we can easily determine the location of the centroid or center of gravity for more complex uh, composite body. So, uh, so it this can be done here. Consider that each part is a particle. Okay, we determine that each part here, part A, B, whole here, B square, C as a particle. So considering this as a particle here with the uh, exclamation, uh, with, the, with the quotation marks here. So then we can, uh, we follow the procedure that we that we described in the previous section, that the the previous slide that I talked about. So then we can and just with this method we can find the location of center or center of gravity for the complex part of structure. So first we need to divide uh, the steps we need to analyze. We need to divide the body into pieces that are, that have known shapes: uh, triangle, uh, square, rectangle, or uh, semicircle or circle itself. Okay. So holes are considered as, uh, but do remember that holes we consider as a pieces with negative weight or size, so that we have to just remove in the total okay and we make the table with the first column for uh, each segment number and we the second column will be for uh, the weight mass or size depending on what we want to decide we want to find the central will be size center of mass will be mass and for center of gravity will be the weight okay and we fix the coordinate axis and then we determine the coordinates of the center of gravity or central in each piece and then we fill in the table okay so and we sum the columns to get x y and z so when we use formulas like the x equals to summation of x, i, uh, it doesn't matter how many, sum, just the total number of x and a and the square and the area, we got the summation of the area or x equals to, or if you want to find percent of uh, gravity, we use the, the weight, okay? So here's an example. We have this shape, okay? So if you see here, it's already been divided by into four parts. A would be the rectangle, B would be the triangle, and C would be the uh, quarter circle uh, arc, and then D would be the semicircle hole. Okay, so we have the dimensions already given, the x and y axis. So here we, when you see here, we have the body can be divided into the following pieces: a rectangle plus a triangle plus a quarter circle here. And minus we remove the semicircular area at D here. Note the negative sign on the whole. See here, this is the negative sign. Okay. So how do we start? Okay, we make a fill the table using parts A, B, C, and A, and note the location of the axis in the system. So for example, here we have the rectangle first. Okay, rectangle. We know that the length is six meter and the height is only given with this. Uh, at this value here would be 3 meters we already know the area is 18 meters okay so because the origin is here this is would be the origin so everything on the right will be positive and everything on the left will be negative and also uh, for the y-axis everything is going up here will be positive everything going down okay up is positive and down will be negative okay uh, so uh, for the x uh, for the for this shape rectangle here, okay. So uh, we know that for the uh, centroid at x axis, and the the length here will be just the x divided by two, which is, which is uh, six divided by two will be three. So this is the position three, and y also uh, just y over two will be one point five, okay, one point five, okay. So just x times a which is the uh, position times the the area here would be 3 times 18 will be 54 cubic meter and also the y times the area okay 1.5 times 18 we have 27 okay next for the triangle here this is triangle is already way here okay so the area is just uh, 1 over 2 times uh, a and the height so uh, uh, just half so 3 times 3 is uh, uh, 9, so divided by 2 is 4.5 square meter. So and for the position x, because this uh, 3 is just uh, know that from the formula, okay, 
is the 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 centroid is uh, one over three for the triangle. Okay, so it's one over three divided by the here is three here is one so one here plus the coordinates position because this is only six meter here six plus one here then we get the position of x is at seven. Okay, we still have to uh seven seven and for y because y is one okay so uh, y is three one over three is one so position of y is at one so somewhere here so this is the position coordinate position of the uh, is actually x is equal to seven because of the coordinate position and y is equal to one so just times x a so just seven times four point five would be thirty one point five and y would be uh, one times four point five we get uh, four point five here this value okay next for the quarter circle here quarter circle Hmm. Okay, it's pi r squared over 4. So, since r is equal to 3 in the radius here, so it's 9 pi over 4. And for the x coordinate, the formula for uh, the central for, uh, for a quarter circle is just for r over 3 pi okay so r since r is already uh, 3 here so and because the position is uh, at x is negative okay from the coordinate uh, axis of uh, x here so it's net minus 4 over 3 4 times 3 over 3 pi and for y is again is for r divided by 3 pi for r over 3 pi so the radius is 3 so it's 4 times 3 over 3 pi so the for the x times a x times a here uh, 9 pi over 4 times uh, minus 12 over 3 pi so you get the value of 9 minus 9 and also for uh, y a again uh, 9 pi over, over 4 times 12 over 3 pi you get the value of 9 uh, next for the semicircle okay so uh, because it's a whole okay so we just consider negative Okay, we just want to uh, remove, uh, remove it so then <coughs> because uh, the area for the circle is uh, pi over 2 uh, pi pi r squared over over 2 so since r is just the value is 1 meter so we just uh, put in the value as uh, pi minus pi over 2 okay indicating it's a whole we want to uh, remove it so since the 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 since the the center of its uh, semicircle coincides with the origin of the axis, so we know that it's zero here, which is put in zero, and for y, it's just again is uh, four r over three pi, so y is one equals one, so then we get four times one over three pi. So then when we uh, multiply uh, x with a here, so zero times negative pi over two, we get zero, and for y times a. 4 over 3 pi times minus uh, pi over 2 then we get minus 2 over 3 so we just summarize <coughs> the whole area 18 plus 4.5 plus 9 pi over 4 and then we minus pi over 2 we get total is 28 square meter and we just find for uh, the summation of x a here we just plus 54 plus 0 31.5 uh, minus 9 uh, minus 0 and we get 76.5 and for y a just 27 plus 4.5 plus 9 minus 2.2 over 3 and we get 39.83 so from there afterwards now we use the, all the tables uh, and the data so we get the value for the area this, this total area here this total area here is equal to 28 square meter and the x times the area is the, uh, the center of, uh, of the shape times uh, x, now the summation is 76.5 and summation of y uh, times a is 39.83 so then the central is will be somewhere that we determine as a here so then we just divide uh, the summation of x a here over the summation of area we get 76.5 uh, 
cube meter divided by 28 square meter, then we get to 2.73 meters at x, and y, we get the summation y a divided by summation of a equals to 29.83 cube meter divided by 28 square, square meter, we get 1.42 meters. So the position of the centroid is uh, 2.73 somewhere here, meter x at x, so this is this, this is 2.73. And y at the 1.42 meters. That's all. Okay. So, uh, based on the typical circumstantial information, what are the minimum number of pieces you will have to consider for determining the central of the area shown? Okay, you can have at least what? Uh, you have, if you try to divide here, okay, so at least three. Okay, three uh, sheets. Okay. And also, if the storage box is tilted up to clean the rug uh, underneath the box, okay, it is tilted up by pulling the handle. Uh, see here with the edge A remaining on the ground. What is the maximum angle of tilt? Okay, measured between bottom A and B as long as possible before the box uh, tips over. Okay, so over here the answer is the box can be tip, uh, can tip over. Okay. Okay, next. Um, if you have uh, these two blocks, okay, the different materials in some ways we and we have the density of each material. Uh, object E here, density is thirty kilometer over cubic meter, and density of uh, body block B here is eighty kilometer over cubic meter. What would be the center of gravity? Okay, so what we need to do is we can uh, with this problem the blocks A and B can uh, can be considered as uh, two pieces of segments. So we first we want to find the weight of the boxes. Okay, so weight is W uh, times uh, is equals to the density times volume. So we have the density is thirty kilometer over cubic meter. So we just times the volume of uh, E here, which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6, and then height is 0 0.6 here based on this value. Okay, and then uh, uh, divided by uh, two or times 0 0.5. Times the density, then we get the 1.08 km, which is the weight of E. So if our block P is 80 times the density times 0 0.6, uh, 0.6 here, length, height 0.6, and the width 0.2, then we get 5.76 km. So if we summarize okay, of each segment for A and B here, so we know the weight is 1.08 km for A and 5.76 km for B. And for the position of X, uh, uh, if it's at the center of uh, the centroid here, at uh, shape A here, okay, we see here at uh, at X here, okay, X is uh, X is zero point two, okay, here it has a, an offset of zero point two because of the block B here, and because it's point six because of its rectangular shape, it's a one third of uh, point six, so one third is point uh, we get one of 0 0.6 with 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, we get 0 0.4 will be the position. Okay, this. okay for y, the okay, y here, the height is 0 0.6, so it's just uh, one third of the height. It is uh, 0 0.6 times, uh, so it's, uh, it's a straight line, it's a, uh, one uh, half of uh, 0 0.6 that is uh, 0 0.3. Okay, and uh, for z, Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. It's because this is uh, uh so y axis is here. Okay, y axis is zero point three, zero point six for a rectangle. Then it's, the value is zero point two. So we just value the coordinate of x times the weight. Okay, in kilometer meter. Okay, we get point four times one point zero eight. Point one times is it one point zero eight here? We get the value of 0 0.43, 0 0.108 for y, and 0.216 for z, respectively. Okay. Okay, this is a supposed to be point of each, so this is a mistake. Okay, so it should be, it should be kilometer meter. And for b, okay, same here for uh, block b here, okay, at x is because x is 0 0.2 at x, so just half of it, a rectangle, okay, is 0 0.1. And for y, because the length here is 0 0.1, uh, 
and because it's near to the origin, it's just 0 0.3 y, and then z is and then the height is 0.3 uh, divided by uh, 0 0.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.3. We just uh, multiply 0 0.1 times 5.76. Uh, 0 0.3 plus 5.76 and then 0 0.3 again multiplied by uh, 5.76 to get the value of uh, each individual for x, y, and z. So we summarize the total uh, weight of both blocks 1.08 plus 5.76 we get the value of plus 6.84 uh, kilometer. And then we just summarize x and w here, y, w here, and also z, w. We get the value of uh, respectively 1.08 kilometer meter 1.836 kilometer meter and 1.944 kilometer meter so from there we summarize that we get the, the summation of the weight is 6.84 kilometer the summation of x y and z uh, uh, multiply with the, with the weight is the 1.08 1.836 and 1.944 so so then we we substitute it with the center of gravity equations we get uh, just uh, 1.08 divided by 6.84 1.836 divided by 6.84 and also continue for z 1.944 divided by 6.84 we get the value of uh, at x the, cent the, the center of gravity is 0.147 meter at y is 0.268 meter and 0 0.284 meter for z so it's somewhere around 1.147 uh, meter I think somewhere around almost half uh, sorry almost a 2k here at x at y uh, value at um, 0 0.268, 0 0.268, sorry, so be somewhere here, okay, and z at 0 0.284, 0 0.284, maybe somewhere here, so be somewhere is the probably the location of the of the center of gravity, okay. So, next, okay, if your rectangular area has semicircular and triangular cuts as shown for determining the central, what is the minimum, okay, what is the minimum number of pieces? That you can use okay you have this kind of shape okay so if you want to determine the center of what is the minimum pieces okay uh, actually you can uh, you can if you want to you can just summarize into if you have consider if the original shape is a rectangle one would be the rectangle and then two holes this is of a triangle and also a semicircle so at least you need three minimum pieces that's the you know we can get to to uh to solve this kind of uh problem okay and then for the the center of the area here with two square segments and we can say that a b c d and square d e f g what are the coordinates as well the center of square d e f g here look everything is is just two meter by two meter uh, uh square so since uh if the coordinate system uh, if this is uh, D E F G. So this for this particular shape, its centroid is located at half of this. So it's just half here, 0 0.5. And so here, 0 0.5 at x is y and x. Okay, this is y and also x. So considering the distance one meter here and also here, so this distance will be at x. This is point zero point five. This is one meter. And again, this is also one meter here, and distance here is 0 0.5. And the answer would be the 1.5 uh, x and 1.5 meter y. Okay, so thank you very much. That is the lecture for today. I hope you uh, can uh, understand a bit so we can uh, later on in our tutorials we can discuss a little bit more furthermore of the topic of uh, center center gravity center of mass and uh, centroid so thank you for your attention